Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. So, uh, we are just going to jump straight into another crash site mission because Charlie 2 is almost at its destination. Just speed boost that up a little bit. Ah, oh, it's going to be nighttime. Hmm, I timed this poorly. I mean, we can wait a little bit. When did this crash happen? I don't know. Might be pushing it. Apparently, we've got 24 hours we can wait before the crash sites disappear. I think we'll just do the night mission. It's gonna suck. All right, let's see what horror this place this place brings. Well, first off, let's get everybody. That's the edge of the map, isn't it? Okay, edge, edge. Okay, so we're going this way. That's good to know. Okay, let, give me a flare out in that crossroads as far out as you can. Okay, that tells me a little... Huh. That is interesting. Alright, whatever. Uh, Giuseppe, you're going to be up here. Also watching that way. Uh, I don't think we need to be watching behind us here. But it doesn't hurt to be a little bit paranoid. So let's get another flare out over here. Okay, that's the corner of the map. So we're good over there. And then... All of our riflemen. What is this? Okay, there's a big building directly in front of us, but I don't actually see any doors into it. There might be one directly in front of the helicopter, but that would be kind of weird. Um, either way, there is a gap there. And there's a path we need to check over here. Oh, there's three paths we need to check. Alright, I'm going to send one team down this road and one team down this road, because these paths converge anyways, so we'll be fine to just ignore that for a second. Alright, Ford, let's get you up here. And then keep your eye that way. Crouch. Get some people in behind you. There we go. Alright, Bruno, where can you get to? You can get to there. There's fine. Get some people up to this wall. Okay, and the support team is going to wait here for a second until I have a better idea what the layout of this is. Oh, well, there's an alien right around that corner, apparently. That's good to know. Okay. Esposito. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, I need to deal with you somehow. If I move your... Actually, you shot twice, right? You're not going to get a chance to reaction. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, if I move a little bit further, I can still shoot. And I can get a better view down the ways. <laughs> shot. He doesn't get to respond because he already shot. And then... Yes. Go. <laughs> go. Alright, so far so good. Uh, let's get... Is this... Okay, there's a corner well, well down that way, but I do want to watch out for stuff over there. Hmm. Hmm. This is a lot of ground to cover. Alright, I might have this team go over here just to check this path out and have the support team cover this main road. For now, Kozlova, you can get over here, and then... Okay, good. You could throw a flare down here and still... uh Oof. Okay, there's nothing down there. Well, there's a dead civilian down there, but nothing super important. Okay, well, the dead civilian's kind of important, but you know what I mean. The support team ready? Uh, I guess I would love to set them up actually in this building, because it probably has good view on things. But we'll see how everything looks before we uh, make any decisions about that. Alright, now you guys, going around this corner... Okay, so far so good. How much does it cost to throw a flare? 19? Okay. Alright, so get to about there. And then, oh! Well, that's probably where the crash is, if I had to guess. Uh, you guys can split up a little bit. Yeah, that should be fine. 
go. Get settled in there. Um, Ford can move up just a little bit further here. Crouch. And Romanova can follow in behind him. Alright, everybody moved. Everybody moved. Good, good. Okay, there's a police officer over there. Okay, well, that probably means we don't need to be super thorough checking over there. Either way, you guys are coming up here. Click. Where's my sniper? Evans, there you go. I don't like them being, like, super grouped up, but there's just not a ton of cover for me to use here. So we're going to have to put up with it. Um, I don't think there's any aliens in that building because it looks like the doors are closed. So I'm going to skip this back corner here on the basis that the police officer didn't find anything to shoot at. And this team is instead going to scoot down here. I want to get close to this wall. Go. Lineberger, you're following her. Just keep your eyes that way, just in case there is anyone in that building. And Kozlova needs to stick with them. Go. There's no windows in this building, which is good. There is an opening up here that we need to watch. Alright, and you guys basically just need to scoot your way closer. Now that we know where the crash site is, we just need to find the rest of the aliens. Okay. I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. But, uh... How am I going to do this? Alright. Kravchuk is going to watch our backs here. So he's going to stay back a little bit. While Ford and the other girl, or the other person, Olga, are going to check this parking lot out. Okay, there's a civilian in the corner, so, you know, probably reasonably safe. Can you make it to cover? I don't I don't want you just to be standing behind uh, Ford, just in case something happens. There you go, that's not bad. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Hello. Ah! Jesus. Rude. Okay, so there's a guy down there. Uh, is what we just learned. Give me a flare. Hello. Let's see how our new sniper does. Oh, she doesn't have the TUs to actually follow up on that. That's fine. She hit him. It's good enough. Oh, man. That's... Shoot. I, sh I really should have put a flare down there earlier. That was like... Like, there was a big dark patch right here that I just wasn't paying attention to. That was a huge mistake on my part. Alright, well that's uh, the parking lot clear, at least, so good to know. Um, I am not super keen on leaving Kravchuk alone. I guess he's fine where he is, and he's got vision of most of this and cover. So he should be alright. Uh, let's scoot you guys up to this... This looks like a doorway to me. This is a doorway. Okay. Get ready to open that uh, next turn. Hmm. Yeah, you can just wait. Kind of out of sight here, Romanova. Just keep an eye that way. Um. Hmm. All right, we gotta go check this way. So the support team is gonna hang out there and just keep watching. Burger's gonna have to follow, so don't want to move too too fast. I didn't hear any gunfire over here, or I didn't hear any uh, any laser fire, so I think that we're pretty okay to just keep uh, keep shuffling along here. Okay, there's our police officer friend. Okay, it's a little bit risky, but I just want to make sure this is that looks that's an open door. All right, that's the thing we need to check for. But you can crouch, and Lenberger cannot quite follow you, but he can move a little bit away. Okay, Evans, nobody has enough TUs to throw a flare there, but I think we should be okay. Okay, there's that civilian. Okay, check inside this building. Nothing. 
Nothing and nobody. Okay, unless there's an alien standing in, like, two very specific places. This is looking clear, but I want to go check upstairs in case somebody's running around up there. Do not want people getting, you know, sniped from above. Had that happen to me enough already. Alright, Lineberger, get in there. Actually, stop. What? Do I have to be standing in the... Okay, there we go. Okay, that wastes too much to use because I wasn't thinking about what I was doing, but closing doors behind you is a good idea. <laughs> so things can't sneak up on you. Speaking of doors, nothing. It's interesting that when I opened the door, I could suddenly see the civilian again. Okay. Nothing exciting going on out here. Alright. Uh, it could. It's pretty probable that the last few... Oh, hello. I spoke too soon. He has not shot, so he probably has enough to use to shoot me if I move. Fortunately, Violet Evans is a fantastic shot. Ah, she missed. That's sad. Fortunately, Giuseppe Bianchi has no line of sight. Okay, awkward. Fortunately, we brought flashbangs. Give him one of those for me, please. Yeah, just hit him with it. Wow. <laughs> In his space. Uh, but you cannot move now, which is unfortunate. Let's uh, scoot up into cover. I'm really, really hoping nobody opens that door and shoots me, because that's going to be very awkward. Okay, Giuseppe, you're going to move up here. Let's see if we can get line of sight for next turn. Okay, good. He missed. Flashbangs, very useful. Alright, Evans. Nah, that's, that's not worth it. Now that he's crouching. That's fine. He, uh, oh no, he does have cover. I'm trying to think how I can position myself so that I'll have cover from the ship and be able to shoot over his cover. I think right here should be... Oh, hello. Okay. Awkward. Uh, hmm. Unexpected. Alright, let's, uh... Move our way a little bit closer. Okay, that's fine. Uh... This calls for more explosives, in my opinion. Well, not really explosives. More flashbangs. That missed everybody. Nice. Okay, just uh, shoot this guy. Good. Alright, that's him down, but he's got a friend. Which I am concerned about, so... We can't see over there at all. This is bad. Okay, you guys need to check out this building and get going fast, because uh, I don't have time for you to be up here doing this all day. Eh? Oh, there's another stairs. Okay, I, I was moving in a weird way. Okay, so that room is empty. Oh, there's a civilian all the way at the top floor, so he's the one who's been opening all the doors. I hope. I'm going to bank on that, because uh, we, we need to get moving. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Get out and get into cover. Alright, anybody else need to move? Uh, our friend Gleb over here is, I guess, just going to scoot up to this bit of cover. And then, like, chill out. Got nothing else to do this time. Uh, Violet Evans is in a pretty good spot, although... I don't think I have anyone who could throw a flare to there. Nope. Okay. Just going to have to hope he doesn't murder anybody. Okay, good. Alright, let's, uh... He's gone. That's scary. Okay. Well, where's our where's our shield guy? There you are. Bruna. Get down here, because you're going to check down that side street. Oh, I guess you can... Yeah, that's a door. Okay, you can go out that way when you get a chance. And you... Scoot up to this wall here. That's very worrying. Hello. Found him. Um, nobody really has line of sight to him. That's kind of the problem. Okay, let's get you in the way as best we can. Just crouch. Miss, but he didn't return fire. 
AFK hit, but no real effect there. Um, and Lineberger cannot, or Lindbergh, sorry, cannot uh, get in range to really do anything here unless. You know, with a flashbang. Oh, that's a risky. Mm -hmm. It's not the worst throw, but. Uh, decent chance. Oh, he doesn't have enough action points to do that. Shoot, okay. Uh, Alright, just run up here and hope no aliens are waiting in that dark corner over there, I guess. It's plan A. Alright, what's he gonna do? Oh, he can he can shoot through the trees. Okay. I I thought that was actually not like I didn't I didn't even think he could target through that. I probably should have checked that beforehand. Great. That's two people dead for silly mistakes now. Alright, let's get one out here. See what we can find. Oof. This has been a rough one. Alright, well, he went this way. He went... Okay, if we get over to here... Hi. <laughs> Can you move up and burst? Yeah, no. Shoot. Okay, good. We put him down, though. Oh, and that was it. But, two people dead. Not great. Very not great. Ah, well. Such is life. We'll get better. Well, especially once we get, you know, body armor and things. Alright, all of our things are going home. And we are really just waiting for... Oh, no, we need to hire new soldiers. Because people died. Right. Alright, we need a replacement... What did we lose? We just lost two rifles. Yeah. Yeah, because we got everything else. Okay. Yeah, two rifles. So two people with decent all-around stats would be good. Marcus Norton. He's still there, taunting me with his reasonable stats apart from his terrible HP. Uh, I'm very tempted. You have terrible accuracy. You're okay. Oh, your accuracy's also bad. Jeez. All right, you know, we're hiring Marcus Norton. And uh, we are going to hire... Oh, you'd make a great sniper, but I don't need a sniper right now. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Catalan has decent stats. Not great strength, but that'll be fine. Hire both of them. Okay, and that should... Total soldiers, 13 to... We should have 16. Okay, we're missing a third guy. Did Charlie 1 lose a guy as well? Am I forgetting? Yeah, Charlie 1 definitely lost a guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes. Okay, so I need, uh, I need one more rifleman. Well, oh, Cooper Miller would be a great shield. Look at him. He's got so many TUs. Or great, just assault person in general. But uh, I think we're going to go with Ron Meyer, whose reflexes are terrible, but otherwise he's pretty okay. Alright, construction-wise, everything is done. We don't have anything to build. How's our research going? Proof combat armor is going excellent. Hunter scout car is going excellent. Okay, fantastic. Whee! And the month is almost over. Good. Hunter scout car done. We should probably build one of those. Uh, for now, we're going to research... Yeah, we'll start the alien plasma rifle one. I'll do stun weapons after we finish the combat armor. For now, let's uh, build ourselves... Yeah, we're going to build ourselves a scout car. Just one for now. Should be fine. Yep, thank you. Got that. Alright, once the month ends, we'll get a bunch of money. And nice, we got the improved combat armor. Okay, we need a bunch of this now. And we can research stun weapons, and we can build a bunch of this. Give me that. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave five guys to do the scout car. Because I really, really want the combat armor done, like, as soon as possible. Uh, and how much of this we're going to need? Jeez. We definitely want it for the shield guys. Ideally, I mean, ideally we'd have it on everybody. But the support teams 
tend to fight from further away, they don't really need the combat armor right now. Um, so I think we're going to go for four to start. Eight days, 80,000. Okay, that's not too bad. Yes, thank you. Okay, speed up. Soldiers have arrived. All right, we've got a bunch of unassigns now. They're all riflemen. Equip default roll equipment. Uh, you actually need extra because you have mm, incendiary grenade. Nah, probably not worth it. Um, bring another flashbang. Flashbangs are super useful. And Magia was with Charlie 1. Let me just make sure. I want to keep an even spread of... Okay, so you've got two privates. You've got no privates. Okay, so you're getting... Yeah, you're going to Charlie 2. Charlie 1, Charlie 1, Charlie 2. There we go. Full rosters for all. And let's make sure everybody's got their gear set up. Heavy weapons guy can have a smoke grenade. So that'll be a better, better thing for him to have in the support team. Yep, yep, you need more flashbangs. Always more flashbangs. All right, rifle, you don't even have a gun. Oh, right, that was the thing that happened. I remember that now. Uh, and you're also getting more flashbangs. Okay, good, I can just right-click items. Okay, that's that's too many flashbangs. Let's give you something else instead. I'm tempted to give you more machine gun ammo, but mm, I think we have enough machine gun ammo right now. Uh, I'm just going to give you, like, a spread of other grenades. There we go. Just keep all those around for explosive reasons. All right, same for you. Click, click, click. You are super overweight. Kovacs. Ditch all law. Jeez. There. Oof. That hurts. What about you guys? You're fine. You're fine. You don't have any gear. And you can carry a bunch of extra stuff. By which I mean grenades. All their gear is going to get like stripped out once we get body armor. Because the body armor uh, weighs a decent amount. Quick default roll equipment. You've still got spare room. Flashbang. Smoke. Frag. Perfect. Violet Evans, you are all set. Yeah, your, your gear is fine as it is. Flashbang, flashbang, you have nothing. Okay, oh, perfect, you just fill up perfectly. And then make sure everybody's in their correct spots in the dropship. Nobody's in their correct spots in the dropship. Why am I missing, hang on, this team is missing a shield. That's right, Charlie One's shield died. Right, that was the thing that happened. Okay, one of you needs to be a shield. Which one of you has decent TUs and bravery of the new recruits? Kovacs. Nice. All right. Be a shield. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, right. You have, like, no action points. Right. Okay. Ditch. All of your grenades except for one flashbang. Oof. That's heavy. Okay. And then we've got that. Okay, fantastic. Charlie 2, rifle, rifle. Okay, good. Everyone is now set, and the month is over. All right, we got almost 2 million in total funding, but people are angry at us because we're not doing fantastic. So it's now time to open up a second base somewhere, which you do by pressing a button. Build new base. Where do I want a new base? We've seen a lot of activity around Europe. But what we want really is interceptor coverage. So I'm going to throw it somewhere. See, this covers a lot of ocean, though. It's nice and centralized, but a lot of the radar coverage is over the ocean, which doesn't help us a whole lot. I think we're just going to have to live with that in America, really. So I'll just put it in, like, the middle of the U.S. Base Bravo go and uh that's building a thing so once that's done in 10 days uh we can start building other stuff on this base mostly hangers for now i guess we'll just have to rely on alpha to uh sort other stuff out by itself hunter scout car is finished okay that's fine 
Uh, we can just put the entire team on the jackal armor now. And actually, we're going to bump this up to... I don't even know how many I need right now. I'm trying to do the math in my head. We've got 16 people, and four of them don't desperately need it. Jeez, 12 suits of jackal armor is super expensive, though. Oh, 240,000. All right, it's worth it to have people not die constantly. Oh, alien plasma rifle. The alien plasma rifle is a two-handed alien infantry weapon approximately 30 inches in length and 3 kilograms in weight. It is a vastly more capable combat weapon than the alien plasma pistol, generating a plasma bolt that is significantly more powerful and cohesive than its smaller cousin. Without the space constraints of the plasma pistol, the aliens have mounted a more substantial generation array inside the weapon's barrel. This gives it a similar operational range to most ballistic assault rifles, but far higher damage and armor penetration potential. Laboratory tests suggest jackal combat armor may do just enough to allow the wearer to survive a direct hit, but unarmored troops would likely be killed instantly. Indeed, we believe this weapon is even a credible threat to our hunter armored cars. It would appear that the versatility of the alien plasma rifle makes it the default armament for alien combatants. It is powerful, light, accurate, and capable of burst fire. In short, vastly superior to anything we possess. Alright, good. So that's that done. And now we can dump all our scientists into, or 10 of our scientists into researching alien plasma technology. We should hire more scientists. That would be a good idea. Just fill up our thing on scientists. Just get me, get me a bunch of scientists. Oof, we're spending so much money, but it's okay. It's gonna be fine. Uh, and actually, that is probably not a bad place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>